Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, adjust the eccentric weights on a rotary electric vibrator. The first thing to do, of course, in this instance, we don't have it connected to power if it's on a piece of equipment, so you want to lock it out and tag it out so that you don't have that someone else start the vibrator while you're working on it. So, of course, safety is important. So, there are four bolts that we'll remove that let us access the eccentric weights. Take those off so we can remove the weight cover. Three down, one to go. Take the last bolt out. Come in, little tapping, remove the weight cover. Now, as you see, there's a two eccentric weights. This is the outer weight, this is the inner weight. When you're adjusting a force output, you never adjust the inner weight. It's, adjustments are done with the outer weight only. You can see there's a dial indicator here on the end of the shaft going from zero to 100%. So if you want to adjust the force output of the vibrator, you're loosening this bolt and then we'll swing the weight around and change the setting. The current setting is the factory setting. You look at the punch, the small punch mark on the weight, which is lined up with the lot mark lines on the dial. And right now this is set at 40%, and that's the standard factory setting. So let's say we want more force output, and we're going to set the weights to, say, 70%. Come on here, loosen the bolt that holds the weight in place. And I will slide the weights. You can see now the punch mark is set pretty much centered on the 70% mark. 70%. Go back and retighten this. Double check that I'm still at 70%, and that's good. So now when we do one end of the vibrator, we have to do the other end of the vibrator. So we'll take this other end weight cover off and then access the weight and make the adjustment to it as well. Again, have to remove the four bolts. Again, we'll tap on the weight cover to remove it. Again, same configuration as the other side. Inner weight, outer weight. We only adjust the outer weight. And again, you can see on the dial the described punch mark matches up with the 40%, which is the factory setting. Swinging this around again, we set the other one end to 70%. We want to match 70% on this one as well. Double check that I'm good. Again, punch mark lined up with a 70% scribe mark. So now what we've done is we've changed the force output of the vibrator. We originally had it at the factory 40%. So now we're at 70%, which will give us more, more force. So at this point, we made our adjustments. We verified that what we've done to one end of the vibrator, we've done to the other. We have not touched the inner weight. We've only rotated the outer weight to make the weight adjustment. So now we're simply going to return it to its configuration, put the weight covers back on, and return it to service.